What's up, heated Miami? Well, we're here at El Rey de las Fritas to set the record straight because everywhere I see people talk about Cuban food, it's always about nuclear espresso and the Cuban sandwich. But I don't even think the Cuban sandwich is the best sandwich the Cuban people make. So let's go inside and see what else they got to offer us. All right, so here's the bane of my existence, the Cuban sandwich. I am not too big of a fan of this sandwich, I'm gonna be completely honest, but I'm gonna give it a fair shot and we're gonna taste it. It looks pretty good. They hooked us up with a lot of ham, but... So if you don't know what it is, it's just ham, roast pork, pickles, which they did not cut on the bias as they typically do. They didn't cut it lengthwise, so... This, to the Cuban sandwich purist, this might not even be a Cuban sandwich. But, yeah, we're gonna give it a go, let's see. So as with all Cuban sandwiches, the Cuban bread, of course, is perfect. The ham isn't doing too much for me, neither is the kind of pale, pathetic piece of roast pork that they put on there. And the mustard and the Swiss cheese. The mustard's good, the pickles are good, but Swiss cheese doesn't do too much for me either. So, I don't know, the sandwich has a lot of clout. A lot of fame around the world, but to me, it's not what I would think is the pinnacle of Cuban sandwiches. We have here our beautiful Coke with the straw, which is essential. It makes it taste completely different, especially when you're eating at a place like this, a true Miami institution. You're doing it wrong if you don't have the Coke with the straw or a Pepsi with a straw. Also acceptable, though not my preference. All right, let's take a look. This is a behemoth of a sandwich. So this is the croqueta preparada, which is ham, cheese, and ham croquettes. This this thing is a monster. Hey, look at that. All right, let's take a bite of this absolute beast. See how this tastes. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know where the nearest Baptist Medical Center is that if you finish this whole sandwich It would be good to know. It's very greasy The potato sticks which are iconic of course But at the same time, it's not quite as nostalgic For me as it might be for other people who maybe grew up eating the sandwich. So it's not gonna be my number one but if this is your thing Very very respectable choice Now this right here, this is the magnum opus of Cuban sandwiches, in my opinion. This is my baby, my personal preference. What might be my bias? We'll see. So the pan con bistec, the Cuban steak sandwich, lettuce, tomato, onions. This one is special since we got it from the Rey de las Fritas because it has a little bit of the frita sauce they, they put on it, which is just like some water mixed with garlic, hot sauce, and paprika, perhaps. But yeah, we're just gonna give it a give it a quick taste. This is a great sign right here when you have like a tree branch coming out of your sandwich. Let's give it a go. I just don't know what to say. The seasoning is perfect. The potato sticks which most of these sandwiches do have the potato sticks. I guess it's a knock on the Cuban sandwich. Maybe that's my, my biggest knock is that it doesn't have the potato sticks, but I don't know, there's just something about it. It's super simple. This one's a little too over the top, the croqueta, and the Cuban sandwich to me is just a bit boring. This I call simplicity, this I call boring. So yeah, this is my number one so far. All right, last one. Right here we have maybe the pinnacle of Cuban and American fusion, the Cuban cheeseburger, also known as the frita cubana. So of course, the potato sticks, necessary. And then it has American cheese. The burger is a combination of 
chorizo and beef it should be a good frita always is and yeah that's it simple no ketchup i don't know if ketchup is traditional on a frita but i feel like lesser frita establishments use ketchup to mask a subpar sandwich so yeah just give it a bite this one's not cut in half unfortunately for cameraman roly but i'll give him a bite on the other side all right let's see just breaks my heart knowing that this sandwich is not more famous in the united states when something like the cuban sandwich gets all the shine i know i'm hating on it a lot it's not a bad sandwich but if we just compare which one looks more appetizing to you let's be honest this one looks so gray and sad i don't know i have to take another bite i'm sorry These things are so subjective, you know? Really, it is up to personal preference. But if we're talking just balance when it comes to a sandwich, like, this is a perfect little package. Not too big, not too small. These sandwiches at times can get a bit unwieldy, you know? When we opened the croquette, that almost exploded in my car. There's just something nice about a little burger, about a little tasty burger. Doesn't get much better than that. Here we are in front of Bird Bowl. Kind of like a elementary school field trip icon here in Miami, but we're not here for bowling, we're here for fritas and other types of Cuban sandwiches. So yeah, it's really hot. We're, me and cameraman Rolly are about to pass out, so for the final verdict, I'd say my number one was the frita, surprisingly. I thought I was a pan con bistec purist, but that little burger caught me by surprise. Second place would have to be the pan con bistec, of course. And then from there, the croqueta preparada. It was just a bit too much for me. I don't know, maybe a little bit more of an elegant croqueta preparada would be more my style. That one was just too, too big of a behemoth for me to handle. And then the Cuban sandwich is not much to say that I haven't already said. So, Broly, what's your take? What are your thoughts? The fritas yeah. number one. Cameraman Roly agrees. All right, heated Miami. This is Eated episode one. Comment down below what your favorite Cuban sandwich is. Maybe one we didn't touch on in this video. And let us know what the best places are to go check out for future episodes. It is hot as What's up, Eated Miami? <laughs> <laughs>